What's up, nerds? I'm the Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. First, I gotta address something. Um, I see it in my little window over there where it shows me what it's... Um, what's it called? Recording, yeah. In the last two episodes, you may have noticed the hair. The hair. That is because um, as I put around my uh, headphones, you see it, my hair gets a little messy. I saw it after uh, I recorded episode 1, corrected it, but in episode 2 I... Was it where I scratched my ear or something? I, I did something, um, moved it around a bit, and so my hair got messed up again. Hopefully it won't happen again, or maybe I'll see it, but... Well, does it matter? No it doesn't. Let's start the timer, let's start this episode. Haven't done anything in between episodes. Oh. Just wanted to get it. Don't run away from me. Okay, won't. Haven't done anything in between episodes. Just went to the toilet. That's a four talk. I want it. I like it. Give it to me. Like seriously, give it to me. That is a bad accent. I don't even know what I would call it. Probably I would say it's British, but no. A Brit would say, "Kidding me, bitch." Let's scratch that frog. Not very effective. Give me back my life. Come on. Give me my life back. <laughs> and scratch it again. It pounds. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter because... <coughs> Sorry. I think I get, yeah, three health points back and lose uh, two with each pound. So, it's a win situ situation for me. Plus I win, so it's a win-win. Haha. -win. <laughs> oh crackers, I lost. Does anybody say oh crackers? Is that a thing? Cause it's awesome. Hey, you're pretty good. Wanna trade Pokemon numbers? I'll win against you next time. You know what? Yeah. I don't like people calling me like in uh, Gold and Silver it was horrible. But let's see if it is as bad here as it was then. I like the music. I really do like the music in this game. Orchings, scratch that little thing. Almost a one-hit KO. Nice. If it was if it was a critical, this thing would be lying dead on the ground. Like this. Kevlar Town, right outside the woods. Hello. Hey, did you know that if you talk to people multiple times, sometimes you will say different thing things? Yeah, just like that. Good work. So, I'm doing this now because um, I, pro I probably many of you know the RPG Maker. Uh, I played around with it when I was a bit younger, uh, never done anything uh, all too special or anything finished. But I always like to put in little easter eggs. Like, I had a, a guy in a town, in a, in a pub, put him in there, he said something like, Yeah, I'm an old guy, I rest here now. Like 20 times, but if you talk to him the 21st time, he would uh, give you a special item. Something you don't need to progress, but some just something, I don't know, was it a good weapon or a great potion, I don't know, something like that. Or sometimes I would like put like one single tree like this, right here, and if you click on it you get character customization, I don't know, something. Just was for fun. Hey kid, you a trainer? Well, you might want to know that if you head north you can reach Now Touch City, which has the first gym. Great, because after beating the first gym, we can go back into Route 01 to get our fishing rod. I wanna get a bike, but the shop here doesn't have any. What a lame shop. Oops. Hello, who are you? Hey kid, you walked in here, which means that you need a bike repaired. Don't have one, figures. Haven't got many customers of this late, now that I've already sold everyone in Town a bike. Actually, if you bring me a bike wheel, I can fix an old bicycle and give it to you. So, here's a bike shop, now it's a bike repair shop. That's... okay, that's... that explains why he doesn't actually sell bikes. There's 
move to this town. It's small but homey. Yo, homey! <laughs> I think it will be a good place to raise a family someday. Did you know about that? Did you know she wants to start a family? If not, run. She's talking about kids already. Why wouldn't, couldn't we raise some Pokemon instead? That's a good question. I would much rather raise a Pokemon than a kid. Seriously. But you're a good joke. Sure. Okay, listen. How do you get 50 Pikachu on a bus? You Pokemon. Where did I go wrong in life? <laughs> now nah, I was okay. That Mori is always crying to people to get them to do something for him. And he wonders why he doesn't have any friends. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, bye. Pokemon, let's buy some Pokeballs. Gonna go for eight to have a nice and ten Pokeballs. Potions. Let's go with five. Got antidotes with me, so yeah, I'll just stick with that. Damn, I filed an order for great balls last week, but they still haven't come. We need them. Passing trainers have been demanding them. Yeah. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, and another one, leave me alone. Talk to him five times, he won't say anything different. Don't you think this town is a little bit boring? At least here we have a small bike shop. Well, that's something. Hello, who are you? Oh, hello, young trainer. Is this maybe your first time seeing a Pokemon Center? No. Come with me, I'll show you around. So, this implies that in the whole, like, I don't know how old my protagonist is, let's uh, say he's 11. In my whole 11 year life of life, I haven't been to a Pokemon Center once. Which means no one has ever taken me to one. Which could mean that I've never actually left my hometown. That's what they're implying in most of the Pokemon games. Like, you haven't got your Pokemon, you can't go out. Your parents sometimes don't have Pokemon, you can't go out of your town. But then again, if you get a Pokemon and you can uh, run around with your Pokemon, that's kind of worth it. Pokemon Center, first and foremost, is sort of like a hospital for Pokemon. My sister here will restore your hurt Pokemon to full health. Services are completely free of charge, so feel free to use them as much as you like. That is nice. Is that all there is in a Pokemon Center though? To my left is a PC. It can be used to store items and Pokemon. If you're already carrying six Pokemon and you catch another, it automatically gets sent to the PC. Tender's Pokemon storage system was developed by someone named Twitch. So that's why it's called Twitch's PC. Have the foggiest idea who that really are. Who that really are? Did you just say that? I don't know. Network, connect with other trainers around the world. Don't want to. This concludes the tour. Thanks for listening. Why don't you take these? Great, got some orange berries. That's pretty nice. You give me something. It's a cave on the way to Norwich City. And it's infested with strong Pokemon. Be careful. Probably Zubats. Say, trainer, what star did you pick? Orchins. Nice choice. Orchins steel type gives you a lot of resistances. But what out what out for? Watch out for S'mores Ember. Oh cool, I can just look at all of this. Rep touch rips through steel and bug types, but water type moves hit its weak points for massive damage. So is it just a fire Pokemon? Because we have uh, water electric, grass steel and just fire? Don't know. Second floor for the Poké Center. We don't know what to put here. Wait, Tender Network is up there. I'm raising my special Shine Monk. But even though they have powerful moves, we keep losing. Wanna fight? Sure, in the Pokémon Center? Awesome! Always liked it when you get like two trainers who ask you, do you want to battle? And you can say, yeah, or no, I uh, just gotta heal first, or something like that. Let's scratch his giant monk, his special, very strong giant monk level 4. Yeah, well. No wonder you're always losing, that's just... Go out! Go out, fight five trainers and your Pokémon will be level 5. Fight like 10 more and your Pokémon will be like... Yeah! Another giant monk. 
So, guys, tell me, if you were a Pokemon trainer, would you specialize on one kind of Pokemon, like one element just because you like it? Or would you play like, uh, be like most people who play? Wine Whip, finally! Uh, would you be like in most Pokemon games where you just collect everything you want? Because I... I don't know. I would probably do both. Like sometimes go around... Oh, he switched out! That's it. Uh, I would probably do both. Like sometimes go around with Pokemon I really like. Sometimes uh, Pokemon who are strong is just whatever I want. But I always thought the idea of like a bug catcher or something like that is a good idea because some people like some uh, elements more than others. So. Or like Misty in the anime. Misty hated bug type Pokemon, so of course she wouldn't have her water types and bug types. No! She loves water types, so she had water types and a few others. Brock loved uh, uh, rock types. Brock, rock, yeah, of course. Uh, loved rock types, but he had his uh, Vulpix and stuff like that. It's just. It. it it's, it's just. Like my hair again. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's naturally it's natural, but it makes sense for people to choose typings they really like and stick with them. Or trust like yeah, this Pokemon because it's cute, this Pokemon because it's nice, this Pokemon because I caught it first and I always remember that. Got the orange berries. Got more orange berries, that's great. That's great that they give you a lot of orange berries in the beginning of the game. And since they gave me orange berries, I will give them to my Pokemon now. Bag. Nope, not Patcher Berry. Orange Berry. Give to my Orchinx. Since I'm battling mostly with Orchinx, I will only give him the orange berry now. <gasps> oh, there's an Outen! I want it! I need it! Although I have a flying type. Let's see what Wine Whip looks, looks like. Hmm, looks great. Not very effective, that's good. Because I don't want to kill this one. Do I want to go for another Wine Whip? Yes, I do. Didn't kill, so... Oops, not Pokemon. I want to go in the back. Throw a Pokeball. Throw it! Three and done. Got it, Outen was caught. Outen are mainly seen at night when they are looking for berries and other individuals of its species. They are known for their lovely singing voice. Oh. So I have two normal flying Pokemon in my party now. I heard Outen nest in this area. I'm trying to catch one. Dude, I already did. It's not it's like no big deal. Youngster Timothy would like to battle. Got a Burby! Like, that's a cool thing. Let's scratch that. Haha, <laughs> scratch that. Funny. Make puns. But no pun intended. Dang. Used Gust on me. God damn it, why? And Burby's going down. Giant Mike. Will I switch to Pokemon? Sure I will. Come back. Come out here. Come out here, little fella. I want you to evolve. I want to see a butterfly bear. I hope it's a butterfly bear. That would be so awesome. Ooh, level 6. Oh, damn. My Kabak doesn't have that much defense, it seems. Uh, let's stick to Orchings for now. <laughs> it's easier that way. So, it used its orange berry already? Ooh, would we get charging power, so it might actually become an electric type Pokemon. Interesting, interesting. So far, I, I... So far, I like every single Pokemon I've seen in this game. And that's good. That's really good. 
and we gained experience and defeated youngster Timothy, who for some reason stands all the way to the right. Well, you gotta tell me, what's your secret to Pokemon trading, please? Well, you see, I go out and I train them. And the best thing to train your Pokemon is not standing around at one freaking tile. Like seriously, who does that? Every single trainer, but who does that? Wine whip days. And with another wine whip, this should be it for this ch giant monk. Uh -huh. And with that, I'm gonna leave this patch of grass now and go to the next patch of grass. <laughs> Ooh, hiker. Hey, kid, are you tough enough to make it through this cave? Yes, yes, I am. Hiker Larry wants to battle. Set up Mankey. I like Mankey. Mankey. Mankey is one of those Pokemon with a, in my opinion, ingenious design because it is simple, it is easy to look at, but who the heck combines a monkey with a pig and just no torso at all? It's just one ball with. It's just. It's interesting. Sent in Barrel. Do I know this Pokemon yet? I don't think so. It's probably the little one that's standing right next to him. Yeah, it is! Are you a bomb? I don't know, are you? <laughs> this thing looks strange and I like it. Well, it's not very effective. Let's see. If you're a rock-type Pokemon. Which I think you are. It doesn't seem that way. Interesting. Neither rock nor ground. Probably. Or it's a rock steel that would make grass normally effective. Am I right? Not always sure about that. Yay, level 5 with my cup bug. You're pretty good, it seems. Trade Pokepot numbers with me and I'll call you whenever I find a rare Pokemon. Sure, why not? If you give me a rare Pokemon, then. Old entrance to Now Touch City. Oh, interesting. The event of a roadblock, Now Touch City may be reached through Passage Cave. Okay, so can't go here because of a roadblock. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center heal my Pokemon and then enter the cave, but I think I'll keep that one for next time. Let's see. Maybe see... Okay, I'll go into the cave and see the what's the first Pokemon that jumps on me. Just because. Just because we're all curious, right? We're all curious. We want to know. Oh, Ooh, that's... That's nice. Found an escape rope. That's great. At the end of uh, the entrance of a cave, finding an escape rope is always nice. And our first Pokemon is a Tonemai. Ton Tonemi? Tonemai? I don't know what it is, but I love it. That's some cute design. It looks like Patamon from Digimon, but with some different things. <laughs> I like it. I want to have it, it's not very effective, of course, it's a flying type Pokemon. Let's scratch it and see if it does more. Again, don't want to kill it, I just want to... I want to capture it. I want this thing on my party, I don't know if I want to use it, but I want it. Tone me and I will call it Tone Mine. Was added to the Pokedex. It's just a poison, poison ball Pokemon. Newbie trainers traveling through caves are advised to bring along antidotes against Tone Mice poison, which causes great pain if it isn't treated. Won't give it a nickname. Let's look at it and end the episode with Tone Mai. Have I looked at uh, Outen? I don't think so. It is a mild nature. It has insomnia, prevents from falling asleep, and has peck, charm, and foresight. That's not bad. Tone Mai. Docile nature. Levitate gives full immunity to all ground type moves. Nice, and it has poison gas and tackle. And since poison gas is not an attacking type poker, uh, attack move, we just leave it at that. 
I'm gonna save the game for now. End it right here. And next time we'll go through this cave to see where it leads us. So, guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more Pokemon Uranium. I'm Uranicate, Cactus and I gotta run. Bye-bye!